Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. We are on week five of the Low Buy collab. Now, before we start this video, I do want to preface by saying I do have my empties. I do have the items that I picked from my baskets from the previous weeks in their own basket that at the end of January, I'm going to do an epic empties. And at the end of February, I'm also going to do an empty, epic, empty, epic empties an epic empties for the collab just because i feel like having so many videos can kind of get overwhelming for me so that's just how i'm doing it but anyway week five of the low buy collab that i started with me and a bunch of other fellow youtubers here and so 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 many of you decided to join in as well which makes my heart so full and so happy and the cats of course i'm getting ready to film a video so they have to go crazy it was the culprit this is another new addition to the family huh did I show you on the channel yet? I'm not sure if I showed her yet, but this is the culprit. She was, I have a box in the middle of the living room and she was going crazy. Huh? Can you say hi to the camera? Oh, hello. Hello. Say hi. Oh, she's like, get me down. Cats know what they want. Anyway, so for this week, I told everyone in the collab, you are going to melt one vendor this week. Now, Personally, these are my favorite weeks, and the reason why I say that, I have a lot of wax, and for me to feel accomplished every week, I typically like to melt from a vendor, especially if I know if they're having a restock that weekend, or if they're having a pre-order, or I just got a lot of stuff in and I really want to try some older stuff. Um, I love picking from just a vendor, and that's why, and I've talked about this a lot, I have a lot of vendors right now that I'm ordering from, more than I should, and it gets a little bit overwhelming, so for me, having like five vendors to rotate is awesome. So, I was debating, do I go through the vendor that I don't like, <clears throat> the pharmacist's daughter, or do I melt through some of my favorite vendors. And then I got a package in the mail from Vintage Cheek Sense. And I opened my drawer and I'm like, there is no room to put this the way that I would like to organize it. There's no room for any of this stuff. So you know what that meant? This week, I am melting Vintage Cheek Sense. Purely because I have the most wax from Kirby. And... It's some of my favorite wax. I've talked about it before, and there's a full disclaimer. Like, I don't get the wax for a discount. I don't get the wax for free. Sometimes she does send me goodies, but I I don't get free wax. And I just like to point put that out there because I do talk so highly about Kirby. I've been friends with her for so long, and I just love her wax. Her blends are amazing. Her shapes are amazing. Like, everything's amazing. So anyway, I picked a, ba a, ba a bin full of VCS this week. And I actually am filming this now, Sunday afternoon. This will go up Sunday evening. A little later than I wanted to. But I already picked out the two melts for today. So in my bathroom, I am melting Hawaiian Tropic Suds. And this is fresh laundry blended with sweet sponge sugar, fluffy marshmallows, and Hawaiian Tropic Lotion. Now, this this at first is not a scent in my wheelhouse. It smells like laundry and sunscreen, 100%. But I thought this would be a great bathroom scent, and this I have from March 2020, so I wanted to pop this out. A lot of this wax is older wax, too. So I have this going in my bathroom. It's really great. In my main space, I have eight warmers. This is a two pack or a four pack of her coins, one of my favorite shapes. I cut each coin in half and did one half in all eight of my warmers in my main space. It's my blend, collectible lunchbox. Raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. Mine and Catherine King's, I should say. And I went to the gym and I came home and you would think if this was a candle, 
I had five candles burning. It was so strong. And it made my heart so happy. Because that's what I like from scent. Knock me on the floor. Knock my socks off. Knock, knock me to the ground. Like, it was so strong. And it smelled, like I told you before, a PB&J. Replace the bread with zucchini bread. And replace the jelly with raspberry jam. Chef's kiss. It is fabulous. And now my other kitty wants to say hi. This is, he's my buddy. I talk about him in all my videos. He's my buddy. We'll put him up here and he'll stay here for a good bit of the video because he loves to be up there. All right, next. I already chopped this because I, I've had this loaf for so long. This is one of Kirby's jumbo loaves. She doesn't <clears throat> offer these a ton when she does. If it's a scent I love, I pick it up. And this, Jackie O's Palo Santo and Chestnuts and Brown Sugar Cupcakes. You guys. My goal is use half of this this week and half of this during next week, loaf week. But I don't know if I can part with all of this because I think one of the oils is like really hard to get right now. The notes. Vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows. Okay, so that is Jackie O. Palo Santo, the best. And chestnuts and brown sugar cupcakes. This is like... Smoky cupcakes with creamy buttercream, sweet brown sugar. Like, this scent is next level. I've never smelled a scent like this. And Kirby, this is my beg and plead to you to please pour more of this. And I've been raving about it on social media and now I'm making this video on it. You need to just immediately like make it in loaves or blossom bars because that scent is fabulous. Next. Mm. Another scent that I have so much of, including a whole pumpkin head, and I never melted it yet, Jackie O's Peanut Butter Zucchini Bread. Vanilla, vanilla bean zucchini cake, whipped marshmallows, and a peanut butter drizzle. And this was all the rage on YouTube when it first came out, and it smells like, it smells like zucchini bread with peanut butter. And I never thought to do that, so... Next time I make zucchini bread, or as you know, I don't cook or bake, buy zucchini bread. I'm definitely going to toast that up and put some peanut butter on top. I have White Christmas. I thought this would be a nice bedtime blend. This is Buttermint Vanilla Bean Noel. I love Vanilla Bean Noel mixed with mint. And the buttermint it is. It's just a creamy, creamy peppermint. In that same vein, I also pulled Central Park Snow Globe, and this is Peppermint Cream Noel. So this is, whoo, it's just a little bit more of that, like, nose-clearing peppermint, which I do not hate. It's definitely just, like, stronger, where White Christmas is more creamy peppermint because it's the buttermint, where this is, like, straight-up nose-clearing peppermint with Vanilla Bean Noel. These three little ghosts, I'm probably going to like add this to something. This I got in like a mystery box. And this is Lovely Lydia, which is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, which is the Bath and Butterworks do. And like, honestly, that scent doesn't really do anything for me, even from them. Um, it just smells like a creamy vanilla. This is two little strawberries. I'm definitely going to melt this in my bathroom. This is Annabelle Doll. It says, don't acknowledge this doll. Instead, melt this blend of pomegranate, strawberry, and cranberry. And I do really enjoy this. It's a very bright, very bright, bright strawberry. Pomegranate, I find when you add pomegranate to wax, it makes the scent really juicy and like my favorite, jammy. This smells like a really good fruit jam. Ooh, another scent that... <laughs> that Kirby blended for me. It's what baking can do, and this is from Waitress. This I only have three coins, so I'm probably gonna have to pull something else from my collection and melt with it. But um, this is orange juice dreamsicle cake topped with whipped cream. I used one coin when I went to New York 
to see Waitress in a tea light warmer. It was amazing. This is so good. It smells like orange cake. Like orange juice cake. Oh, fabulous. If you like orange scents, even if you don't like orange scents, it's so good. Next, I have a poinsettia in Eldoise. This was in 2017. It's time to melt it. I don't even know what the notes are, but it's my favorite shape. One of my favorite shapes from her, her poinsettia shape. It just smells like a like a creamy vanilla cinnamon. I'm not 100% sure exactly what it is, but it's yummy. Oh, I did this for favorites week in my bathroom, and I have a little bit left, so it's obviously going back to favorites week. See what they do? You witnessed it firsthand. I, I can't. And he's like, oh, we wanted to destroy the next thing. Anyway, Sweeney's Barber Shop. Do I need to say any more about Sweeney's? Fresh strawberries blended with minty shaving cream. It's hands down the best. And if you have not melted it, please do. If you don't like it, I don't like you. Just kidding. A little bit. Jackie O's Pumpkin Pecan Waffle. And this is rich vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and a side of pumpkin pecan waffle. See, he's like a little, um, he's like a little parrot. He's my buddy. Hmm. He waits for me when I get home. He sits with me when I'm in bed. He's just like a little angel. With his little white patch on his chest. And yeah, this just smell. You want to smell? Ooh, do you like that? Oh, he likes it. He likes it. This is um just amazing. I always need a little bit of pumpkin pecan waffle in my life. And even if it's like extra creamy from the vanilla bean cake, it's fabulous. This one is Black Flame Candle. I have this in a loaf. I've never melted it yet, so I wanted to melt this little rose I have. This is blackberry jam butter cookies, gooey marshmallows, and campfire. So a little bit smoky. Blackberry jam, oh, blackberry jam butter cookie is such a good note oil. I love it. I don't understand how people don't like that oil. It's just like a, a gooey blackberry cookie. It's so good. And blended with gooey marshmallow and campfire. The campfire... Okay, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, let's go down. Yeah, he's such a good cat. Um, but yeah, it just it's like a smoky campfire. So good. Next, I have two roses. So this will be four melts. Like, melts. And this is L, but the L's are one, so it's 11 from Stranger Things. And this is... Toasted Eggo waffles smeared with cinnamon and sugar butter. I've talked about this before. It legit smells like toaster waffles with cinnamon and butter. Like, it's crazy. You don't get any maple syrup, which I thank the Lord. I don't. It, if, if syrup's too strong in a note, I don't like it. Yeah, this smells legit like Eggo waffles with cinnamon butter. Yum! I have the holiday. And see, what I'm going to do is probably melt these two together. This is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And she's got some age on her, this little ginger gingerbread. This is November 2019. And, like I said, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's just a rich Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Oh, that Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie is so good. Yeah, it just... Do you hear him? I call him no voice because like he his voice just he doesn't he doesn't have a powerful meow yet. And then last, I did not melt this in favorites week, spoiler. So I'm going to melt it this time. And I know I only have a unicorn shape here, but I think I have more. I think I actually have two samples, so I'll probably do the unicorn and two samples in my house. This is McBoo. I love this. Gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallows, Palo Santo, and vanilla frosted grams. Her Palo Santo oil is one of the best. I actually have her Palo Santo oil on its own in a loaf called As Above, So Below. And in about a year, oh God, he like doesn't want to be away from me. Um, in about a year, it'll be so strong. You do not have to cure VCS for a year. I just like, I, it just naturally happens because I have so much of it that I don't always get to it. So, 
it naturally just happens. If you could see him right here, I'm holding him in my arms like a baby. And he's like just like falling asleep. He is, he's the best buddy. I love him so much. Hi oh, buddy, are you just so cute? Oh he is, he's so cute. Anyway, also, just a little, little tip. I've gotten a lot of messages about the price increase with VCS. Now, full disclosure, there is price increases everywhere. You know that, like the world sucks right now. It sucked for a lot, a lot of years. Don't know who to blame for that. Um, but it sucked for a while and that price increases are gonna happen. I mean, especially when, you know, these vendors are working some of them out of their homes, you know? And for me, it's just, Kirby has free shipping over $35. A lot of vendors don't have that. I spent $31 on shipping from a vendor the other day. $31. If I took that $31 and divided it by all the wax that I bought, boom, there's a price increase. You have to think about like business-wise where she's coming from. And at the end of the day, you know, they do want to make money to feed their families too. I mean, it is a business, but you know, oils go up in cost, wax goes up in cost. I think the waxes, someone told me like 40%, like 40% increase in a year. Like they can't not raise their prices. You just can't. So that's when you decide you still want to buy wax. And at the end of the day, this is a hobby. We don't need any of it. It's just fun. So that's just what you have to decide. But I'll get off my little soapbox as to support small business versus the big box companies. And little no voice and I, can you say bye? Bye. Are going to tell you to have an amazing rest of your night. Let me know down below if what vendor you picked as part of the collab. I loved watching all of your videos and commenting on them. Um, Alexis, um, Two Quick Licks, has a really fun video for this week. You definitely have to check her out. She's doing Rose Girls Mini Melters, and she actually wants you guys to create blends for her. I challenged her to do peaches and cream, uh, raspberry sauce, and waffle cone. See, they're like kids. This is literally like having a, a full-time child. Anyway, yeah, so... It's amazing. I love that she's doing that. I love how much this community is coming together, and... Yeah, and that's about all I have to say. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Be kind to one another. You matter. Subscribe. Bye.